So Max is finally back in Life is Strange. Now, as y'all may know, if y'all were like in the early days of my last uh, channel videos or live streams, I played Life is Strange a lot. And my live streams used to look horrible. My face cam was bad back in the day. I was using a webcam at that point when I was playing Life is Strange. And I played like, I played every Life is Strange game. So this is huge for me because like, I've been waiting for a Life is Strange game for a long time. And apparently this is a sequel to Max's story. Apparently, this is like a, apparently a sequel where she's like older and stuff. So I, I am excited where this is gonna go. Cause my character in Life is Strange, the first one, um, I think I did both endings where her friend died and then her friend lived. So I did two endings of that. So I'm gonna see what um what's gonna happen here. Peggy 16. I swore I'd never use my power again. What the fuck? But two nights ago. Mmm. My friend's body in the woods. No. Wow, she's like way older too. An all new supernatural murder mystery. I don't know who I can trust. Or who trusts me. But my friend Safi is dead. So why? Can oh my god, bro. Focusing my power, I somehow shifted. What? A parallel timeline. Here. What? Sophie is still alive. The danger stalks are every step. And only I can investigate both realities. Oh, snap. Parallel world? It's the same as this one, except you're dead. I can still save Sophie if I can solve that's crazy and prevent the same murder across two timelines. The new mass claw field. Sorry, that's fucking sick. So that's interesting because in this one, because I remember in the first one, she used to be able to rewind time and we would like have to like go back a few like seconds, but she could rewind time. It seems like she could rewind it like absolutely completely this time. So, but then again, because her head, like she used to have like this like um, after effect whenever like, like she would use her abilities, like she would bleed her through her nose a lot. So I'm not going to lie. I think this game might, conclude come to like the conclusion of the life is strange story because it seems like you know they're trying to like get to that point i don't know why but october 24 okay october is pretty early i'm not gonna lie damn i thought this was gonna come out in like 2025 or something but that's actually good nah i messed with that 2025 okay that's good so i'm thinking about playing this on the ps5 i'm not gonna lie to you because pc pc is a uh, not it man but yeah no i used to man, i miss i miss playing this game though like i because i used to play this on like my main channel and just live stream all the life of strange games all the time since such good times man oh, bro this brings back good memories though i really hope this is good because like i remember like the light the last life of strange game we had it was it was okay it was all right i i think it was okay it wasn't better than the other ones it wasn't better than two or you know one but it was it was okay for another sequel or so but this i hope this is really good and i can see why people didn't realize this was max because like this really doesn't look like max i'm not gonna lie that doesn't look like max at all like if you look at her as a kid and look at her now it just yeah no it doesn't really look like max but i mean Mm. Yeah, I guess you could kind of correlate the two, but this is good. I'm glad there's a new Life is Strange coming out. That means I could live stream it again. Probably not on the main channel, but I'll probably live stream it on like you know the other channel, my streaming channel, and then upload on the main channel and uh you know do some edits there or something. So that'll be good. That'll actually be really good because I dude I've been waiting for a Life is Strange game for a fat minute, but I'll see y'all later. Peace.